Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta that starts on March 17th and goes through April 6th. So I'm just going to run through and tell you what products I would recommend and also what products I think I'm going to be picking up. So let's get into it. Okay, so on March 17th, the first day, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara is going to be $11. I wouldn't recommend this mascara. I've tried it and I really don't like it. It's very dry and just not very good in my opinion. If you wanted to get a mascara from this sale, I would suggest another mascara that we will be getting into. So on March 18th, the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie eyeshadow palette, the Friendcation palette is going to be $27.50 and I would thoroughly recommend this palette. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I just got it and it's super pretty on the outside first of all. So here is the palette. It's just like a nice assortment of colors. You got like a nice pop of blue, a pop of green, a nice champagne gold color. And these metallics are really nice. They're like a cross between a glitter and a metallic almost. I really, really like this palette, so I definitely recommend that one. Skipping over to March 20th, the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots in Soft Ochre and Painterly are gonna be $11 each. So I have Painterly and I really love it as an eyeshadow base. It definitely sticks your shadows and makes them pop and it helps me with creasing a lot, so I would definitely recommend that. I might pick up Soft Ochre on the sale, but I really love Painterly. March 21st, the Becca Backlight First Light and Ever Matte Primers are going to be $19 each. I really love the Backlight and the First Light Primers. The Backlight is the more champagne colored one, and then the First Light is the purple one. I really like those, they're just a really nice hydrating shimmery base for under foundation and if you're pairing it with a more natural or matte foundation I feel like it makes it really look really dewy and just good. So I really would recommend those. And then also the Clarisonic Applicator Brush Heads are going to be from $19.50 to $29.50. One of the ones that I have is... This one, I use this like at night just to massage my moisturizer in and I really like it for that. So I haven't tried any of the other ones but I really do like this one. March 22nd, the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette is going to be $24.50. I haven't tried any Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. So I'm considering getting this one. Let me know if you've tried this one and how it works for you because I'm really interested now that it's half off. And then the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion is going to be $12 half off. So I think it's a really good primer. I really like the colored bases more than just the original. And then the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Mask and Moisturizer are going to be $29 each. I've heard really good things about the mask, so I think I'm going to pick that up. I heard that the moisturizer isn't very good though, so let me know if you've tried either of those. On March 23rd, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is going to be $10.50. I really love the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's one of the best brow pencils, and this is the best time to get it, considering it's more at drugstore prices right now, so I would definitely recommend getting that one. On March 24th, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed and the Silk Micro Powder are going to be $14.50 each. I have the Bye Bye Pores Pressed version and I really like that one. I don't use powders all that often, but if I'm wearing a foundation that emphasizes my pores, I love that powder just to go in and spot, conceal really those pores and it works really well, so I would definitely recommend that. On March 25th, the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels 
the four or the eight count are going to be $7.50 to $15. And I think I'm going to pick up another pack of these. I've gotten these before in the 21 Days of Beauty sale. And something I really like about these eye gels is they feel very cooling going on, but the other side is like a cotton fabric material. So if you put it right up against your eye, you can use it as sort of like a shadow shield and do your eyeshadow and get like a sharp line while you have those on. So I really like those for that. On March 26th, the Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Trio is going to be $14.50. I really love Ofra highlighters. I have the Beverly Hills Highlighter and the Rodeo Drive, so I'm thinking I might pick up that one because I just really love the formula. It's very smooth and not glittery. On March 27th, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer is going to be $21. I love this primer. It's like a moisturizer and primer in one. It's super moisturizing. It feels so nice on the skin. Just gives you a nice hydrated base to go in with foundation. So I would definitely recommend that one. It's one of my favorites. On March 28th, the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Creams are going to be $10.50 each. I love these lip glosses so much. I'm wearing the shade Hot Toddy right now which is more of like a nude shade. I also have Rose Julep, which is more of a pink. And then I have Wild Orchid, which is more of like a lavender shade. But these lip glosses are very sheer, so it's not gonna come off as stark purple on your lips. And I also have White Russian and Dolly somewhere in my purse, probably. So I really like these plumping glosses. They are some of my favorite plumping glosses. They're not too intense. They just give you the subtle tingly sensation. And they also stay on for a very decent amount of time. So I would definitely recommend these if you don't already have some. On March 29th, the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Eyeshadow Palette is going to be $19.50. So I really love this eyeshadow palette. It's definitely more for if you like warm tones. So if you didn't like warm tones, uh, obviously you probably wouldn't want this palette. But I really like these shades. Tarte eyeshadows are quite powdery. So if you don't like that, I don't think I'd recommend this. But they are very blendable and buildable. I really like these eyeshadows. I really like their formula in these Tartlet palettes. And then on March 30th, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliners are going to be $11. I really like these eyeliners. They are a felt tip, but I think they apply really nicely. I have the black and then I have a navy blue color as well. So I do really like those. And then also the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion is going to be $8.50. I really love the drying lotion. You just dip a cotton tip into the pink liquid at the bottom and dot it onto any blemishes that you have. And I feel like it speeds up the recovery time for those immensely. And then the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powders are going to be $14.50 each. These aren't my favorite powders. I don't think I would recommend these. The white one has quite a bit of flashback and they're just really powdery so I don't think I would recommend those. And then the Urban Decay eyeshadows and the Moon Dust eyeshadows are going to be 10 to $11. I don't think Urban Decay single eyeshadows are that great honestly so I don't think I'd recommend those. And then the Sugar Rush by Tarte Peppy Precision Eyeliner is going to be seven dollars so that's cool they threw in a semi new product so if you wanted to try out that brand that'd be really cool and then the origins travel and trial kit is going to be 14.75 i really love origins skincare it looks like this kit is the am to pm set so this comes with the nitamins and the ginseng eye cream and the moisturizer. 
and then a cleanser. I really love the Origins Nitamins, so I think this would be a really good kit just to try that out. And then the eye cream and the moisturizer, I have those as well and I really like them, so I would definitely recommend that kit. And then skipping over to April 2nd, the Lime Crime Venus palettes are going to be on sale for $19 each. I have all three of these, so let me show you them really quick. So here is the original Venus palette. So this is more like a coral vibe to it. Got some pinky corals and reds in there. And then this is the Venus 2. And this has some more unique shades. I really love this mustard shade. It's one of my favorites. And then this nice sky blue is really pretty as well. I really like this palette. And then the Venus 3 is more pink toned. So there is that one. This one is really pretty as well. And they all come with a nice little mirror. So I really like the Lime Crime eyeshadow formula. I think it's really nice. They are very blendable and I don't think they are patchy at all, so I would definitely recommend those ones. And then the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, the 28 and the 60 counts are going to be half off from $8 to $16. And I'm definitely going to pick some of these up. I've gotten them in a previous sale and I really, really like them. They are just like toner soaked pads, so they're just like very convenient. So I just like them for the convenience factor, really, but they feel really nice and clarifying on the skin. I really like the toner that's soaked in them. And then on April 3rd, the Cover FX Setting Powder is going to be $17.50. So if you are wanting to pick up a powder from this sale, I would def definitely recommend that one above the Derma Blend or any of the other ones. That one is one of my favorites. When I do want to powder my face, I think that one is really good. On April 4th, the Tarte Quick Dry Matte Lip Paints and the Glossy Lip Paints are going to be $10. I have a lot of these lip paints and I think they're really nice. I've gotten them in a previous sale, so I have almost all of the shades. I think they go on really nicely. They aren't too drying and they last a good amount of time, so I definitely recommend those. The Too Faced Bronzers are going to be $15 on April 5th. And I really like the Too Faced bronzers. I have the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I really like that one. I'm interested to try the Milk Chocolate Soleil, so I think I'm going to pick up that one in the sale. And then lastly, on April 6th, the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara is going to be $12. I love this mascara, so I would definitely recommend that one over the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's just super volumizing and lengthening and it doesn't get clumpy at all. So I would definitely recommend that mascara, it's one of my favorites. And then the Benefit Gimme Brow is going to be $12. So I really love the Gimme Brow. It's not like a hold your brows in place gel, but it's just like a tinted little brow gel to go through your brows. I think it adds like a nice highlight if you wanted to go a shade up. That's what I usually do. I really like that brow gel. So there are all the products that I would recommend during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Again, this sale starts on March 17th and runs through April 6th. So these are just the in-store and online deals so far. They have online only deals that they release closer to the start date of 21 Days of Beauty. So we'll have to stay tuned for what those are. Tell me how you feel about this sale. I'm not super excited about it. I mean there's a few good products. Definitely some of the palettes are really good but a lot of it's just stuff that's always in the sale pretty much so let me know how you feel about the sale and what you're thinking of picking up and also tell me if there's any products that I didn't go over today that you think I should pick up and I will see you in my next video.